Hi, my name is Keith Burton, and I just want to share with you the different results I have for my ancestry. I've been into genealogical research for probably about 25 or 30 years now, uh, but this DNA part of my research is recent. When I say recent, about four years. I took my first test, and um, of course, I took the test hoping to find out who I was, uh, not really thinking about the complexity of my history, uh, particularly when you look at slavery. Uh, people are taken from all parts of Africa, and um, of course, just because they left from a port in Ghana or Nigeria or Senegal did not mean that they were Nigerian or Senegalese or Ghanaian. And even the terms, you know, Nigerian, Senegalese, and Ghanaian, for the most part, are terms that are in, have been invented uh, by those who conquered those regions. Uh, so just want to share with you very quickly um, the differences I've found uh, from these different companies in trying to find out who I am, which makes the search for identity uh, even more challenging. And so the one you see on the screen right now is uh, from 23andMe. And uh, this was the second company that I did a test with, actually. And uh, 23andMe, if I can just scroll down here, you can see that it says I'm 88.4% Sub-Saharan African, 11.5% European. And if I click on each of these categories, it breaks it down even further to simply West African, 87.9%, uh, Central and South African, 0.6%, and broadly Sub-Saharan, 0.1%. And when it comes to my European genes, it has uh, mostly Northwestern European, British and Irish, Scandinavian, uh, broadly Northwestern European, and of course Southern European 0.8%, and broadly 0.3%, uh, less than 0.1% East Asian and Native American, and less than 0.1% unassigned. And so this was my 23 and me discovery over here. But check this out. This is family tree DNA. And um, based upon family tree DNA, as you can see, very similar percentage with African, whereas with um, uh, 23andMe, I was about 88% African. Um, here I'm 87% African. Uh, breaking that down again, mostly West African, 85%. South Central Africa, about 2%. So you see, it's pretty similar to what you see in 23andMe. As far as my European roots are concerned, however, it has me um, 8% Scandinavian. Um, little trace results of East Central Africa, North Africa, and um, about 2% Sephardic Jewish and 2% British Isles. And so you can see when it comes to the European breakdown, it's very different than the one we saw with Ancestry. Now, moving along over here, this is um, home DNA home DNA, and I forget what they used to call themselves. Anyway, with home DNA, as you can see, it's not as clean as the others, but um, if I click all gene pools over here, you can see uh, how it breaks down. So it says I'm um, Bantu African and Niger Congo area 32.8%, West African 17.9%, which is interesting. Uh, when we look at Niger Congo in West Africa, you would think that this would be similar here. Of course, I guess they're going more central over here. And of course, Madagascar, <laughs> very interesting. Madagascar, that's, um, you know, an island uh, of the um, east coast of Africa. So that's very, very interesting. Madagascar, 50.5%. Um, African pygmies, this is uh, the Achma, 9.3%. Tuva, and as you can see, that's. Uh, um, over there in Euro Asia, Nile Valley, Ethiopia, what have you, um, uh, South Sudan, etc., 5.5%, Northwestern Africa, 4.2%, and um, see, so going as far as um, Algeria, and Morocco, Tunisia, so very north up there, uh, Northern Mongolia, Eastern Siberia, 3.6%, Western Siberia, 3.2%, and Southern Ethiopia, 0.8%. And so you can see um, home DNA. Home DNA, um, they're also known as GPS, GPS Origins. I think they just changed the name to Home DNA. 
but this is what they have. So you can see completely different. Um, the only similarity, of course, we have the West Africa here, uh, but not at the huge percentages that we saw um, with family tree DNA or 23andMe. Okay, how about DNA land? Again, uh, they're kind of clean here. Nice clean look over here. So DNA land. So you can see 88% African and 12% West Eurasian. So you can see, um, I didn't tally up the percentages. Let me take a look very quickly um, back at home DNA over here. Let me see, um, 33, let's say, uh, plus 17. So we got 50, um, 65, 75. Uh, let me see, 75. They move the lessons round us up to 80, um, 80.08, and probably nine values. So, yeah, so I guess about um, 87. So they got 87% here, too, I guess. And we look at two for 7.1%, northern Mongolia, West Africa. Actually, a little bit more than that, because you would have about 13%. You would have me sort of in the European regions here. But again, 13% um, would still leave about 87%. So, okay, so they've been pretty uh, consistent with the, at least the ethnic ratios here. So again, over here, African, 88%, West Eurasian, 12%. But see how the breakdown is here. Um, Lower Niger Valley, 7%, Mende Akan. That's Ghana, 4.2%, uh, uh, Senegal River Valley, 4.1%, Akka, that's the Biaka, as in the Pygmy Line, 4.7%, East Africa, 3.2%, uh, Southern Africa, 1.3%, then Northwest European, 47 Southwest, 28 Ambiguous, 2 Finnish, 15 and Arab Egyptian, 1.4%. And so again, you see the differences when it comes to the European breakdown, um, even though this again gives West Africa uh, most of my allegiance. Um, so let's move now from DNA land to my heritage. Uh, my heritage, as we can see over here, uh, it has the largest percentage of me as an African. And let me just make sure I'm the right person here. Yep, this is me. So it has me at 92.3% um, African and 7.7% European. And uh, of that, of course, uh, West Africa um, has the larger percentage of Nigerians at 69.2%. Then it says West African again, which is interesting. West Africa, West Africa, 77 in Sierra Leone. And then East African, Somali, and Kenyan. Uh, by the way, I have um, several of my family members um, uh, with their results on my heritage. And for some reason... Uh, they also score high on East Africa, uh, Somali, and Kenyan. And so, again, I guess I'll do a little bit of analysis in a couple of seconds. Uh, we'll probably see why. And, of course, Central African here. And when it comes to North and West European, English 5.2% and Scandinavian 2.5%, which, as you saw in an early one, it had me, you know, at like 7% Scandinavian. So, DNA origins. DNA origins. This is actually Ancestry.com. Um, I just did this test uh, about a month ago. I got the results for this one over here. And uh, let's just take a look at everything we have here. 89% African, 10% European, and about 1% uh, Western Asian. And so if you see the breakdown here again, um, Nigeria again tops the list, 35%. Then in Togo, 28%, Cameroon, Congo, 18%, and uh, low confidence, uh, Ivory Coast, Ghana, 5%, Mali, 1%, Africa South, 1%, Senegal, 1%, okay, and um, low confidence regions, okay, I'm not, I'm not sure why they call it low confidence, I guess they just mean that it's the percentage there, but again, Great Britain, uh, Europe, West, Iberian Peninsula, that's, um, Spain, Portugal, those areas, Ireland, and, uh, of course, um, Jewish, um, European Jewish, uh, less than 1%. So, and then low confidence region would be the Caucasus areas over here. So, again, you see the various breakdowns. Again, Ancestry.com. Um, here we have my heritage. There, uh, DNA land over here. 
um, home DNA or GPS origins, and um, over here, family tree DNA, and finally, 23andMe. Uh, so you've seen that all of these have a, uh, um, I guess there's a sort of con consensus, which is obvious that I'm mostly African, and uh, m I guess the majority of them will put my European identity to about 11%, even though there is no real consensus. Uh, my main problem with um, all of these tests so far, actually, uh, has to do with the lack of specificity. Uh, for instance, um, if I were to get a European test, for instance, I would know if I'm from Great Britain or Ireland or um, Iberian Peninsula, so it kind of helps me um, to locate my ancestry with more precision. Uh, but just say Nigeria, what does that mean? Okay, am I Igbo? Am I Yoruba? Am I Hausa? Okay, when it comes to um, my Ghanaian connection, for instance. Okay, I have, am I Akan? Am I um, Ga? You know, and so it, it doesn't really break it down like that. And maybe when they start getting a uh, larger control group, they'll be able to do some things with more specificity. Uh, but the main lesson here is, you know, even as uh, we try to find our roots right now, um, everything is basically experimental, and we're not going to be able to find anything with any great degree of specificity unless we can do something like Alex Haley did and uh, find some real relatives in some part of the motherland. Uh, but until then, I guess... Um, uh, the best way to go about it is just to uh, try and weigh all of these different results um, to see if, in fact, we can move closer uh, to discovering our real identity. Okay, just thought I'd share. Peace.